Hello, Rich. Thanks for, thanks for sending your swing on the Golf Digest Challenge. My name is Mike Richards. Hey, I put some uh, lines in here, and I want you to see a couple things. I'm going to draw a red line kind of up the shaft plane. I want you to watch. Boy, I like a lot of stuff that you do in the swing. I think your setup is very nice. You look like you have a pretty good low handicap. I like the club face, how it works back. Right on plane, very, very square right to there. So let's not let's not change anything what you're doing there. Love the way you set the club at the top of the swing. Nice position angle wise. Club face is really nice and square. You work it down pretty well on plane. Again, from this angle we're seeing a nice square club face right here. But now you see all my yellow lines. So let's kind of backtrack here. So this kind of just outline what I've done here. When I watched your swing here, Rich, I watched you make pretty good angles to start with, but we just don't maintain those throughout the golf swing. You're doing a pretty good job here. Not too bad in the top of the swing, but as we start coming down, we start losing some. And one of the places we lose it is right here. This kind of comes off the line. Now, what's so important about that is the more your hips go in, the more it's going to take your back and spine and go up. And you're going to see how your body kind of works up. I think you can see here because your cap is kind of pulled away from this yellow line over here. So let's play it back a little bit and you'll see how there's a little bit more upward motion and out of the swing than what I'd like to see. Now what is that going to cause? Well it's going to cause an occasional thin, occasional slap across, and all of a sudden we get like a little, little hit but there's not much uh, distance to it. Now, Rich, what I'm going to show you is a model that I use. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of age difference between Tiger and yourself, but I want you to get the gist of what we're looking at here. There's his backside. As he swings it, his left buns stay right on that line. And you see how yours, as you come into the hit, kind of go underneath you. You start coming down. As you transition, your buns are kind of working more in towards the golf ball. So much at impact, just prior to impact, you don't see a whole lot of turn of your hips. Let's watch Tiger's hips. Now look how much turn he's got going on in his hips, and your hips look pretty much straight up and down. So Rich, if I had to work with you on one thing, it'd be a little bit better clearance of your lower body through the strike, which will help you keep yourself in that good angle with your cap and your spine. And I think you can see, as Tiger swings, his swing lowers through the strike, and yours raises through the strike. Rich, other than that, I wouldn't change much of your golf swing. I really like the swing. I think you do a nice job. If you can, work on that. It looks like you had a, a decent range. I love the hillside it's on. One way to work on this is if you have a bag stand, put the bag stand right here across your backside and keep it there and just hit me some small feeling shots and see if you can keep your buns out a little bit to help you make a little bit more consistent contact. Rich, thanks for sending your swing of the golf digest challenge. Hope this helps. Good luck.